Hey everybody, it's Nick. I got a quick tutorial for you today. That's a fix to a previous tutorial. Um, when we're making our axonometric drawings uh, using the script that I had for Rhino, it doesn't seem to work reliably in Rhino 6. Uh, it seems like almost every time I run it, I get a different um, uh, like shear angle. So I'm just going to show you manually um, how to do it, and then hopefully I'll be able to fix the script uh, in the next couple weeks. But in the meantime, this is the process. Uh, you start with your with your project in the top view. I'm going to go to Rotate. And uh, select everything, so Control A. And then the center is just in the center, and we do a 45 degree rotation. And then go to the right side view, say shear, select everything again, Control A. And for origin point, I mean, I would just click somewhere on the near the bottom of the of the project or on the axis, or you can just go, you know, world uh, zero zero. And then the reference point in this case is just going to be uh, world uh, zero. Zero, one. That's uh, you know Z, and then we kind of set the skew from there, and the skew is negative forty-five, and that'll get you the axle that you're supposed to have. I've seen all kinds of angles coming out of this. Something is happening with the coordinate plane. Uh, it could be a bug with Rhino that needs to be fixed. That's happened before, uh, but this will at least get you the ability to get the axle working. Uh, it's not as fast as a script, but it doesn't take that long. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is just no noting that. You know where you rotate your uh, your project first is uh, going to determine. You know, basically, like whatever's on the bottom here is going to end up on the right side of your of your axle. So go ahead and rotate that first uh, before you go through this whole uh, kind of process, and uh, that'll make things a little bit easier for you. So, like again, this isn't um super hard to do. You can also just try to click near the ground and then hold shift and go up and that will give you um, a place to generate your angle from. Again, negative 45. I, I prefer typing it in um, and the uh, when you use W, that means to use world coordinates. That's all that that's doing. So again, this is a reliable method. It's just not as fast as a script and it's not as uh, computational. Um, but this will at least get you working uh, in the short term and uh, able to finish your assignment. All right, everybody, I'll see you around.